It's a desperate plea from an American stranded in Jamaica. Please just let us go back home, please. Lauren Sempt flew to the Caribbean last week for a quick three-day getaway at the stunning Bahia Beach Resort. To get back home to Atlanta, she had to take a mandatory COVID test, but it came back positive, and now she's stuck in Jamaica. I've already quarantined for five days. She posted this appeal on Facebook, showing a negative COVID rapid test, but it doesn't matter. She's bound by the strict guidelines of the local authorities. Now you've got to wait another five days, and then you've got to wait for the Ministry of Health to issue you a a fit to fly certificate. I'm begging you, Jamaica, to please let Americans out. Tammy Rougeau from Wisconsin was on a cruise when she and a friend tested positive. Now she's confined to a hotel in the Bahamas. So we're going to stay until we can hopefully test negative because, I don't know, the cruise line won't let us get back on until we are negative. So it just might be the worst time to travel. The State Department has issued a do not travel advisory for pretty much every nation on Earth. Check out the official map of the world. The countries in red are no-go zones. Everywhere else is labeled exercise, increase caution, or reconsider travel. Stand-up comic Jen Murphy got stranded on a cruise ship. I knew I was taking a chance. She was booked to perform on the Carnival Freedom, but ended up losing her freedom after testing positive for COVID the day after boarding the ship. She spent eight days quarantined in the very lowest deck in a cabin with no windows. I haven't been out since. Wow. I haven't seen daylight since then. <laughs> she made a video diary from isolation, and for a comic who finds the funny side in everything, it's downright depressing. I'm stuck for eight days in the basement of a ship. Take a tip from these unlucky travelers. Reconsider that trip abroad. Stay in the United States.